Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Tarty Penis. Someone asked for the penis to be back, so I'm adding more penis. And Juanathan, and now Vampire GF? Question <laughs> mark. We're gonna be getting her home today. Oh, look out! He's after you. Oh, she put up her hood. Will he recognize her? Dude, he's getting it. Damn, gave up. My brother in Christ. If you want... If you want a vampire GF, you just have to ask. Where the fuck are we going? Right over here. Let's get moving. Are you gonna attack me? Are we cool? I'm gonna leave you be. Okay, have a good day. I got myself a new mouse and it feels all nice and slidey. Okay, that was weird. Is that your home island? Fucking Jesus Christ. Did my game crash? Okay, thank you. Oh, it just took a while to pick up the Nern root. Okay. Is that big ominous block floating there? You're... Okay, never mind. I forgot I can swim super fast, so this will be easy. Never mind. It'll be so rough loading everything in. I should have waited longer. They look very pointy. I'm guessing that's... Oh, that's not even it. I'm retarded. I should have been following... Oh, do we have to go to, like, a boat to get to the island? Jesus, can't get through those trees. Is that what I think it is? Oh. Oh, grass. Hiding the mighty mud crab. No scope? No scope? No scope? This sucks. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. It hurt me a lot, though. Oh, I mean, uh, not physically, just... Fucking threw me around on the ground. Oh, this is it. Okay, yeah, you gotta go to a boat. Activate mailbox, eh? Oh, so is this... Travel to the castle. Cool, cool, cool. Since there's a mailbox there, I'm assuming that this is potentially a player house? Potentially? Okay. Yeah, I could have swam this, honestly. We're right here. That was wholly unnecessary. Oh, what the fuck? You're no fan of what? Whatever. Let's put up our stuff. I'm actually gonna... Go back to the first person here. Boy, it's dark. Let me uh change that. It's 8 p.m. No. Okay. It's noon. I couldn't stop it. I hit space bar instead of tab. Look at these gargoyles are cool. Vampire manor. Oh, hello. You wanna hey, talk so to him? Before we go in there. Yes, what is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far, but after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. What? I know your no. Friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serana's back. Open the gate. Well, I mean, Argonians have fangs, right? So I could pretend. For the most part, you're just generic After watchmen. All these years, Lady Serana's back. Lady Serana. Now that's something. Let's go in. Holy hell, that took forever. It won't for you, dear viewer, but Jesus. Trespass here. Wait, How dare I? Serana, <gasps> is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. I found her in a box. Okay. <laughs> My lord, everyone. Oh, okay. He was just gathering us. I guess I'm expected. I guess so. 
That fucking Elder Scroll dude. My long get, I don't... lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. <laughs> of course, he I'm delighted scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your train. That thing don't like me much. Here. Oh shit, they're just straight up. This reunion before putting her head on the She's spot. got a big meal. Now, tell so does she. Me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? I'm Tardy so Penis. My savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Tardy Penis. And who are you? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. <laughs> You're vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. Mm. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Do I get a reward? Oh, what happens now? You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my Oh, uh, please don't I say- I offer you my blood. Take uh... it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never fear death again. Oh, and I ref if I refuse? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! Oh, he's gonna transform? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. Shit, that's pretty good. Do we become vampires? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, uh, where are you going? Don't, don't leave me. Um, I'm sure there's a quest to undo it. Oh, but I, I can't play in the dark. I refuse. So be it. Sorry, bud. You are prey, You're super cool. Like all mortals. I banish you. Okay, you could have just asked me to leave. Okay, I think he asked me to leave. <laughs> okay, cool. Now it does say that there's still. My eyes are fucked up, bro. I need glasses. Oh, okay, you sent me out here. Oh, damn, dude. Should I become a vampire? Or is that already fucked up now? Because I don't want to fucking not be able to walk in the sun. Hmm. Color me intrigued. What is the... Speak with this, Ren. Now I need to return and tell him what I've learned. God damn. Okay. Uh, I super... I don't regret my decision. I do not want to be a vampire. Their powers are cool and all. I just don't think that's... What... Tardy Penis would want. Um... What the fuck am I doing? Going to... Back to the place, right? Wait, where the fuck is it? Where's Riften? Am I stupid? It's further south. I am stupid. Oh, it's even more further than that. <laughs> Fort Dawnguard. Fast travel. We're, we're vampire hunters, you know? We want to take their relics. That'd be cool to have a museum full of vampire relics. Yeah, I am super wishy-washy about this decision, but it's done. And with this LP going on, I don't want to be walking around in the dark all the time just for the sake of recording, so. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. 
I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Uh, I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. Vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? She wanted to go home, so I took her to the castle. She's the daughter of a very powerful vampire and lord. So you delivered her to them. They also have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? Uh, there were too many of them, and only one of me and one of Wanathan. So they have everything they wanted, and we're left with nothing. By the divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. So you're just gonna give up? We have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. Have you been attacked here? There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Okay, where do I find the people we need? Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Shall help us? Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last huh. I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Holy shit, it turned into a heist. Now I gotta go recruit the crew. Do we need a demolitions expert? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Any advice for a new vampire hunter? There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. And good people cool. will die cool, cool, because cool, cool, of cool, you. Cool, cool. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, You'll do the same. I actually have this thing called save scumming that helps me quite a bit, actually. Uh, okay. Watch your back. Okay. <laughs> okay. So where exactly is this? Let me see here. I hit M. Oh, okay. She's all the way over there. Out in the middle of nowhere, really. Crap. Okay. Uh, would this be... Or this? I think this would be the fastest beeline there. Oh my god, these loading screens are killing me, dude. They're taking fucking forever. And now I have to wait for it to be daytime, too. God damn. It takes me so long to get anywhere in this fucking game, dude. Alright, cool. Hello? Are you a good guy? Gerald? Jonathan, calm down. Greetings, traveler. My name is Gerard. Oh, Gerard. <laughs> what brings you here to this remote outpost? Gerard? Just looking for somewhere to stash the bodies? I came for the spectacular view of a wanderer I wandered. This is where I happened to wander off to. Uh, yeah, I'm just wondering. You. I used to wander myself back in my youth. Only not with my feet so much as my eyes. Then I met my first wife. Oh, and okay. For a time, I only had eyes for her. 
A very short time, as it so happens. Oof. Three wives later, and I'm still wandering. Okay. Your wives sound like a problem. I can make them disappear. A divorce means cutting the ball and chain. You seem to carry them with you. Well, that's what happens when you put three separate buns in the oven. When it comes time to make a clean break, you can't. There's mouths to feed, and you have to feed them. If I were a sensible man, I'd kill all six of the hungry bastards. But I'm not one for violence. You seem to have difficulties with your marriage. You deplore violence and odd stance take from for a hunter. How's the tr fur trade? Interesting new rumor. You deplore violence and odd stance to take for a hunter. Well, I can't be the first mortal in the history of Skyrim to hate his job. Can't imagine milkmaids and lumberjacks go home every night thanking Julianos for depriving them of brain. Luckily, Double someone edged. invented traps and things to take out most of the dirty work. And liquor to forget the rest. Still don't like it, though. If you think about it, the butcher's stall is really an animal graveyard. But all the bodies have been cleaned up. It's a hunter's job to skin. A butcher's job to chop. Make everything nice and tidy so it's easy to swallow. Why do you think that is? That's how the divines made us. It doesn't matter if it's an animal or a person. If you see something being chopped up with all the guts and blood, it's going to make you cringe. I agree. Uh, I detest uh, such contrivances hiding... The truth only makes us soft. Which is divide me into parts that it's practical, not to hide the origin. If the advice wanted me to be peaceful, they wouldn't have given me fists. Uh, I'm going to say divide meat. Huh. Maybe you've got a point. I guess what I'm talking about is more of an unintentional side effect. seem to have difficulties with your marriage. You're half right. I was always great at getting married, but staying married was another issue altogether. <laughs> Fair enough. Either. I'm a docile man. Never raised docile my voice, man with a fucking raging heart on. Just unlucky in love, I guess. I don't know if you have a spouse, but if you ever want to know nope. what married life is like, it's pretty easy to replicate. Fill a bucket with spiders, place it on your head, and then bang it all night with a spoon. Now, if you want the gory details, I can give you those, too. Okay. Maybe passing on some frightening tales will scare you off making your own prison vows. Tell me about your first wife. Tell what happened to your second wife. Surely you learned something by your third wife. Well, if nothing else, I tried something different. The first wife wasn't much of a talker, and the second wife was a bad cook. So the third was a chef with a knack for speech, and could talk the wheels off of a carriage if you let her get started. Only most of the time she didn't talk. She nagged. I'd come home from a long day, and she'd have a list of chores for me to do. Which was fine, except she wanted them all done at once. What do you mean? She wanted me to wipe the counter as I set the table, sweep the floor while I burned the trash. I told her I only had but two hands. No chance in winning that argument. Could talk the fur off a of Khajiit, that woman. <laughs> so instead of coming home to a list of chores and an honorary wife, I stopped coming home. <laughs> well, shit. Tell me about your first wife. I had been exploring a dwarven ruin, working my way through a long passageway that led to a balcony overlooking a deep pit. She came bursting through from the opposite balcony, a red guard mage in blue robes. For an instant, our eyes met, our wordless stare saying what we both already knew. The treasure lied somewhere at the bottom, about the same distance from both of us. It was an old-fashioned foot race. What happened next? I must have stared a little too long, because before I knew it, she'd made it halfway down the walkway. But while she was fast, 
I was faster. And a better fighter. I sped down to the ground floor, storming through armies of dwarven spiders. Uh huh. At last, I reached the great hall. Been there, pal. Where the treasure awaited, sitting on a platform of smooth stone. Only when I reached out to open it, I found my hand frozen in place. What manner of sorcery was it? I take it you're not too familiar with magic, then. Or what? At least that particular spell. I was paralyzed. Turns out the mage was skilled in alteration. She mm. let me get ahead of her so I could clear the ruins. And when I was but a hair's breadth away from my prize, she made her move. I stood there helpless as she walked right past me and opened the chest. After taking a peek inside, to my surprise, she closed it. It turns out she was less interested in the contents of the chest as she was in what lay under my curious. You bet at her. <laughs> we spent the next six nights together and got married on the seventh. So well, the there's your first is, problem. The first thing she ever said to me was, I do. If only it were the last thing she ever said, too. <sighs> you know, I never did find out what was in that treasure chest. What happened to your second wife? My second wife was a good woman, but a terrible cook. Put condiments on everything. Pickled sauces from <laughs> Cyrodiil, mustards it's and mayonnaise from High Rock. Always with the Breton mayonnaise. On salads, meats, even cakes. White people, am I right? If you've ever had it, it's the <laughs> disgusting slime made from egg yolk, lemon juice, and oil of the olive. She even thought it made an adequate substitute for sunshine sauce. I've never tasted a worse souffle in all my years. Souffle, the one thing it you does say? Go well with is bread, and of course she never bothered to use it as a spread. So what did you do? I swallowed that garbage for three years, but never complained. I hate confrontations almost as much as I hate violence. What I did is stop showing up for meals. She thought I was cheating on her. I was, but not with another woman. It was with another cook. <gasps> you whore. These stories don't explain how the marriage ended. All right. I guess I wasn't being entirely truthful when I said I was never unfaithful. I mean, yes, I never bedded a woman who wasn't my wife. It's just that I was married to all three at the same time. And when they found out, well, let's just oh. say having three pregnant ladies, one of you dead, tends to build up a bit of animosity on both sides. Jesus Christ, my guy. Well, only three of the four people who were in this story <laughs> had a right to be angry. What's done is done. Best to talk it out like adults. You're despicable. Bravo, sir. You are a credit to your race. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, what's done is done, my guy. You and I think alike. That's pretty much what I suggested to my wives. Not that it did any good. Yeah, no, the I didn't think it would, man. did is with the local mercs. Hired an army of them to hunt me down and take little Gerard home in a sack. Worst part is they <laughs> hired them with my gold. Gold I gave them to help care for the children. Still don't know how I've survived this long. A funny thing Yeah, especially is, when you just go around spilling am, your fucking life story and telling gold. everyone that you're a wanted man. But sure enough, every septum goes towards more cell swords. How have you managed to evade My those mercenaries? Is simple. It's a lot easier to evade a dead man than a live one. And I've killed every cell sword those harpies have sent after me. Okay, for someone Truth who doesn't is, I like don't violence. I promote outposts to run from my pursuers. I do it to trap them. The cliffs provide an excellent vantage point. The terrain is mostly uphill, and there's plenty of cover to hide and ambush a group of mercs. <laughs> and here I was about to question your manhood. Glad we avoided that. Uh, so you get the coin back from the self sword circle of life. You must be formidable warrior as well as a hunter. Yeah, if you're killing everyone. I'm no warrior, but I'm not just a hunter either. But I don't tell that to the mercenaries who are after my head. 
You see, there are advantages to keeping secrets from your wife. Or wives, plural, in my case. Looks can be every bit as deceiving as words. And clothes do not always make the man. Huh. Well, thank you for this. This was... Increasingly interesting. All right, then. Uh, I think that... I think I'm going to take those. But yeah, man. Good shit. Good on you. Got some archery for it, too. Nice, bro. Who the hell is this guy? Hunter. Okay. Well, sorry to uh, completely sidetrack myself like that. Is this where I'm going? That is not where I'm going. I'm going to the other one. That one? No, it couldn't be. Yeah, it totally is. Okay. Well, it's time to get moving. Whoa. Okay. Let you know if anything happens. <laughs> oh, hello, bear. <laughs> Well, nothing interesting happened. Into the void we go. Jesus Christ. It's good thing I don't take fall damage anymore. Oh, Nern root and a mud crab. That's a big fallen tree. That's cool as shit. Oh, fuck no. God damn it. Well. Later, fucker. Oh, shit. My stuff's right here. Oh, no. Come back. Oh, no. She's bugged. I'm going to discover this real quick. Time to run away. Or actually... I might be able to distract it. Oh, you're actually not that bad. Oh, that's so much more damage. And he's dead. Look at that. Give me everything. Actually, I probably didn't need to take those uh, claws. You can have those back. Okay, hello? Beatrice, I don't want to talk to you. Well, that was interesting. Oh, am I absorbing the dragon soul? I totally forgot to fucking do that, huh? Is it done? Okay, there we go. Okay, dragon killed. Once again. Hey lady, you want to come hunt some vampires with me? Okay. That's where I left it right you here. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven oh, okay. gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Just look around, will you? It's friend X asked me f to He's find from. you. Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. No. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. You had a falling out? Vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. You had a falling out? Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. 
I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact Dwarven Gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another Gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I don't think so. There's no time you need to get moving now. I'm sorry, but I'm not about Damn to do it. that without at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. Fuck, okay. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. I don't have any gyros on me. And I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. Okay. I... will look around. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. That's a golden bear? What the fuck is going on here? That's a saber tooth cat. Oops. Down here, bear. You weird glowy bitch. Stupid. Where are these mud crabs at? Beatrice, are you okay? Who are you? Tardings honored guest. My name is Beatrice. The raffish companion you see beside me goes by the name of Urzel. The time Who? of your visit is rather impeccable. Urzel has just secured a fresh skeeva which we hope to prepare at the top of the we welcome you to join us in the consumption of this delectable feast. Uh, I don't see this skeever you're talking about. You jest, honored visitor. Its visage is clearly within your range of eyesight. Although, indubitably, you were directed to this camp not by its countenance, but by its aroma, which is quite exquisite. However, it will do us no good without the proper refreshments to balance it. Something odd about your diction. Uh, you know, I don't have time for this. I gotta find some gyros in a sack. That's a rabbit. Oh. Oh, fuck. There we are. <laughs> oh, is this the guy you were talking about? Or is that? Yep. What would mud crap? I understand. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Here, I got your gyros. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Cool. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Or me to get Fart Dongard. Oh, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. Not a lot, to be honest. <laughs> I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Until next time. Until next time. Let me see where this other dude is at. Oops, I meant to hit J. Double edged. Disrupts already to plan to remove the letter. Go to Lost Echo Cave. That's for that guy. I want to know where this guy is. Oh, he's not actually that far from Helgen. Okay. Pretty sure we can go here and just beeline it. Okay. This away. He's over by a ruin, it looks like. Uh, I'm actually gonna wait until daytime again. Because I'm not a vampire. As I've stated. <laughs> it just makes the weather worse. God, these blizzards are fucking annoying. Whoa. Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. You there. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help? Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires. Vampires? That... 
Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the eight. All right, look. Oh, he didn't I'll say by the nine. It. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay, you know what? I will help you tackle this fucking bear. That'll be easy. Hopefully. Holy shit. Is that a saber tooth bear? Nope, that's not the bear I'm looking for. Hello? You're walking backwards on me? Idiot. Okay, well that was easy. I killed the bear. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me. Well, if you can't so handle that, I don't know if you can handle some, some fucking wants. vampires, dude. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, he said to meet at Fort Dawnguard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never Seven septum, thank in. you. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. All right, cool. That's it. We're done. We've assembled the crew. Okay, now we head back to the fort. To let them know everybody's on board, baby. Oh, he's inside now. Okay. We're probably going to meet everyone else there. I can put this away. In we go. Hello? We're back. All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? What the hell? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. Really? In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? A new order. Started profit. Follow him? Where the fuck is he going? How the fuck do I get up there? Or is he coming down to me? It looks like he's coming down to me. We're probably gonna have to go to the basement. Just waiting on a woman. Come on now. Move that ass. Jonathan, you are very blue today. Thank you. Maybe I can find my way to the dungeon beforehand? No? Yeah, get running, please. Idiot. Maybe if I get far enough away from him, he starts running? It seems like it. Ah, there's the cages down here. Okay. Um, got some news for you, bud. You good? Eh. Eh. Come on, man. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Come on, man. Here we are. It begins, and I fear for what is to come. Good luck. Come on, dog. Is he down here? Oh, it's her. Oh, come on, bro. Why are you stuck? You probably weren't expecting to see me again. 
Yeah, considering you have the Elder Scroll with you. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, sorry, Wanathan. Can you just keep an eye on her, please? Let's uh, try a little movie magic here. There we go. Got him walking again. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I had to use that trick twice. If I had a nickel. I'd have two nickels. Oh, Wanathan just opened the door casually. Okay. Dude, come on. You're so close. I think Wanathan is fucking with his pathfinding. Come on, you can do it. Almost there. All right. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Sure Except is. He's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. Here's my Elder Scroll. That's what she should be saying. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. What about the scroll? What about you? The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. Hmm. What sort of prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part true. he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the true, sun. True, 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 true. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Huh. The vampires control the world. Anyway, <laughs> Maybe I should have fucking joined the Mogon. With all of Tamriel. So we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. What's all this have to do with the Dawn Guard? You took a big risk coming here, girl. I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. No, you're right. We, we just have to uh, convince the others that we're on their side. Yeah. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Because we're going to need her help. Set your hatred aside and try to see the larger picture. Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You don't trust her fine. Trust me, I believe you her. better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. I've but known you so for years, buddy. Anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. What? It will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. It's blank? <laughs> who can? Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can it's do just it. like Kung Fu they Panda. They preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. 
Okay, so we gotta locate the priest. Skyrim's a pretty big place. Ask innkeepers in cities around the... Ask carriage drivers. Huh. Where would he actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, True. now that I think of it... I'm going now that I think about it, I think I've, I've really been there. To get out and explore a bit. What do you know about the Elder Scroll? Were you always a vampire? It's hard to imagine that you're, we are going through all this trouble just to find the priest. Wait here, I need something to do. Okay, so I can... I'm ready when you are. Yeah, she's coming with me. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there. This has been quite the episode, assembling a crew, and now we've got the final piece of Goth GF. Cozy little place, isn't this? Yeah, um... So next time, I think we're going to go f try to find that priest. I mean, they said in the College of Winterhold. Uh, huh. Yep. Ask about the priest at the college, and then I can ask around at these little stables. Okay, yeah, that'll be our plan for next time. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.